Now we are talking. The Airx Delta M. This could be a winner. Let's see. Let's see how the GRV plays out. This is not the first time I've reviewed this brand. In this video, I guess I'll call it Airx. Maybe you call it Airx. Doesn't really matter. But I reviewed their Rex Zero some years back. I was, uh, how shall we say, contrarian in my opinion, as I often am in my watch reviews, my knife reviews, my gun reviews, contrarian. I usually go an opposite way that the others go. And that may be, not necessarily, may be because they are very cozy with the manufacturers. Maybe they're getting some money Maybe they're getting free guns. Maybe they're getting, I don't know, free travel benefits. Who the heck knows? I don't get any of that crap. I'm supported 100% by my donors. This is a completely independent gun review. I do not get the gun from the manufacturer. I got this one from Gunnies, the Great American Gun Store. Round of applause. That's right. Go to Gunnies. Support them. Thank you. Tell them thank you for supporting the project. And that first shot. Insulation, shall we say, uh, really helps me do the review the way I do it. I do good reviews, really positive. I do negative reviews. Sometimes uh, Gunnies and Handgun Haven will get some blowback from the manufacturer or the distributor saying, hey, we don't really like how Nut and Fancy reviewed such and such gun. And they'll say, uh, well, uh, you can just deal with it because that's the way he does it. And uh, he's fair, he's honest, and his reviews stand the test of time. Going back to the Rex Zero, case in point. So I was contrarian in the Rex Zero, which is basically a clone of the SIG P226, one of my all-time favorite go-to-war handguns of the 80s era. Love that gun. And the Rex Zero was basically a variety of P226. It was completely competent in field, accurate, fun to shoot, reliable. Did it break new ground? No. Was it like the new cutting edge for combat handguns? No. Too heavy, just like a P226 is, with current competition. Right. I said that in a review. So, you know, I was taken to task by some, like, oh, the Air Rex, Rex Zero, I'm buying one, I'm selling my P226 to get one. And I was like, what? Dude, slow your roll. Are you are you kidding me? I don't know who you've been listening to, but they're idiots. Do not sell your P226 to go get a Rex Zero. Guys did it. And lo and behold, a year later, guess what they're selling? They're Rex Zeros. Those guns do not sell. They do not sell. Uh, talking to my gun stores and random gun stores, I'll see a Rex Zero sitting there. I was like, does anybody ever buy that? No, it just sits there. Fast forward to now. This is a Delta M by the same company, completely different gun. And this is going to be a completely different review. Because I'll tell you right now, this gun is awesome. There you go. It's awesome. All the testing is complete, multiple outings, some of the footage I've lost because of a hard drive hard drive crash. You'll get what you get. I have some other shooting outings that I've recorded. Maybe I go out again for insert video. Don't know. Yeah, it's awesome. Airx Delta M. This is the compact Glock 19 size. The, they have, I think, three variations. Uh, and this is a Delta M Gen 2. Generation 2, yeah, non-optics ready version. Obviously, they do have an optics ready version out if that's important to you. And uh, then they have the L, I believe that's a full size one. They still sell the Gen 1s, which have a completely different grip. The stippling's different, had some weird angles on the frame. I never shot that one. And then they had a proprietary rail on the Gen 1, I believe. So the way I dialed into this gun, got this gun, is just by store walking. Gunny's a great American gun store. So Wyatt said, hey, have you checked out the Delta M? And I was like, say what? <laughs> I should have known about it, right? Hey, man, you know about all the guns. Not really. There's a lot of guns that I don't know about until I see them. Um, I know. I'm a doofus when it comes to this stuff. I saw this, picked it up. I was like, mm, okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. And let's be honest. Airx is dialing into uh, a proven formula. This is a Glock 19 formula formula that they are dialed into. They have seen the sales of Glock 19s, and to their credit, they are making a variation of a Glock 19. Here's a Gen 4. 
with, I think this is a Valkyrie. Yeah, it's a Valkyrie, PL Mini 2 Valkyrie. Link below, fantastic subcompact weapon light. Rechargeable, so keep it charged up. But Glock 19s are fantastic. They are still one of my all-time favorite, favorite handguns of Glock 19. Apparently yours too, because I see a lot of my audience members running Glock 19s. Not too many 17s, strangely enough, but a lot of 19s. Even when I do Soldier Boy, 19s have come out of the woodwork. So going back to Arex, they're just, you know, marketing a pistol where they know there's going to be a demand. You make it lightweight, you make it about the same size as a Glock 19, and if it shoots as good as a Glock 19, guess what? Probably going to be successful to some point. I forgot to write the weight down, let me tell you. With the 17 round mag in, it is 22 ounces with a 17 round mag. So that is fantastic. Did I see that right? Yeah, 22 ounces, dude. I think that's lighter than a 19. I think that's lighter. If you want to get on nothing fancy's good side, where's my sticker or my name tape? I don't have it. It says lighten everything. Yeah, lighten everything. Do you do that and it shoots well? Dude, dude, I will be happy. Very, very happy. Yeah, uh, philosophy of use will be everything that a Glock 19 can do. Again, if you wanna go with a full size one, and I will have a competitive option full size to show you, which I absolutely love and recommend, do it. I see a lot of dudes carrying a Glock 19 or something like it. Maybe a Shadow Systems MR920, is that what the name is? 620, whatever their MR system is, Shadow Systems. It's like a Glock 19 with some upgrades. Go watch my DR920 review. That should post before this one, I think. Yeah, so you can carry it inside the waistband. A lot of people do. The width on this thing is pretty darn narrow. It's just one inch, just over one inch. It's like 1.01 on the slide. 1.17 inches in overall width. Dude, that is that is very excellent. Very excellent. I think a Glock is like 1.09, if I remember right. Do I have my micrometer here? I don't, I'm just going off memory, but I think so. So I think it's the Glock is a little bit chunkier. So the Air Rex Delta M Gen 2, the compact one, it's pretty much hitting on all cylinders in terms of SAWC. It's super lightweight, it's super thin, and it has a four inch cold hammer forged barrel, a la Glock 19 style. It's, it's just perfect. And you guys, and I think the gun market as a whole, prefers a 19 over a 17. Now I'm speaking Glock terminology because it's universally understood. There you go, philosophy of use, home handgun, yes, absolutely. Without rule of law, yes, absolutely. Hiking gun, yes, absolutely. Not for bears, but for bad guys. Uh, backpacking gun, well, that's the same thing, but I was thinking of uh, bug out kit gun. No, nine millimeters, not my favorite. Bush gun, yes, and I'm talking about a uh, bush plane up in Alaska. I might go with something bigger since if I have to emergency land, I'll be in, I don't know, Kodiak Bear territory. I'd go with a 44 Magnum or a Glock 10 mm, as indicated before. Uh, motorcycle gun, absolutely. Basically, anywhere you could put a, it's not a subcompact, it's a compact nine. The gun will do quite well. On to features we go. Arex Delta M getting a positive review. Positive review. We'll start off with a slide. Again, this is a non optics 
version of it, which I would be totally good with. Uh, I think most of you guys would want to have the optics ready version in case you want to put a red dot on it. I get it. Fantastic beveling going on on this slide. On the front, on the sides, on the top. Really nice serrations. Forward, front serrations. And they're not obnoxious. So one thing I would say on the Walther PDP that I reviewed and that Beretta APX is their slide serrations are obnoxious. These, one, these ones give good purchase and yet they are trim. They don't stick out. So that's cool. Good sights. They have a Glock cutout on them, I believe. So these are Glock compatible on the Eric's Delta pistol. So that's cool. If you don't like them, you can swap in a Glock sight set if you want. I think the ones on it are completely adequate. They are metal. This one has a flat shelf at the front if you want to do an emergency cocking procedure with that. It makes me a little bit sad that it's completely blacked out in the back. Uh, I'm not super digging that, as I've said. I would prefer to have either three dots, some type of high vis in the back. We do have a white dot up front. Medium amount of air. So let me remind myself. Yeah, it's just right. It's not like the PPQ was. The PPQ, the front sight blade was swimming. Swimming. Talked about the barrel already. Did I measure the thickness on this? I think it's two millimeters in thickness. The wall of the barrel, if you care. Metal guide rod, steel guide rod. The Gen 2, again, has a three slot pick rail on it versus a proprietary. This is a great upgrade. Uh, I can't imagine really why you'd want to go with a Gen 1 for that reason alone. And another reason is you got rid of all the funky angles on the Gen 1 and kind of a, a worse grip. The grip on the Delta M is fantastic. Not sure if it could be improved. There are three back straps that are included in the box. Let me show those to you right now because I will forget if I don't. Here's the box. Gunny's price, 445 dudes. 445 another great thing about the Airx Delta M, at least this version. Yeah, so here's your back straps. Easy enough to swap on. None of you guys will do that. You'll just run the back strap that comes with it. Here's your cleaning clip. Cleaning clip. <laughs> cleaning kit. Right there, some instruction card right here. Manual's in there too. Yeah, the grip on this, uh, awesome. So as I'm referring to it now, it's like sandpaper texturing. And then it, it goes all the way on the top. You have some indexing pads on the front portion of the frame for your index finger. Really undercut frame here. Squared out trigger guard, big enough for your gloves. This I wish had sandpaper texturing on there. I'm gonna start saying that forever until industry changes it. I don't know why they don't texture the front of the trigger guard as well as they do back here. Doesn't make sense to me at all. Here's a negative thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say something negative on it and it's really a negative. Now, uh, I clicked through the interweb with some reviews on this just to compare my notes after I shot it in field. And I didn't see anybody who mentioned this and I'm not sure why. But this magazine relief, uh, relief release is jacked. Here's why. Because even though it's nestled, you know, so you don't inadvertently actuate it, it's really hard to push it with a glove. So we're in the field and we're like pushing right here. We thought that's a mag release because it feels about the same because there's no really raising to the button. Look at that. How it's flush in the frame. Is it a showstopper? Mmm... It's close, I'm gonna be honest, it's close. If I own one of these, what I would do is I would take out the magazine button, just totally unmount it. I would get my Dremel tool and I would Dremel away all this faceting, these angles leading up to the magazine Shoot button so it sticks out a little more proudly from the frame. I found that releasing the magazine was a little bit slow for me. See, look, so I'm pushing it, this is how I push with like this, this joint right here. So I'm pushing and what I'm running into is the raised portion right here. It's not good. It's not good. They, they kind of really jacked the magazine release up. You can offset that by some training. So instead of using your joint, you come here and use the tip of your finger. That will work. And maybe you do that already. Maybe you don't do it like me. You don't come here like that. 
you'll do that. And if you do that, you'll have a better chance. I will still give uh, zero to five stars, a magazine button on this, about a one star. It's shitty. There you go. Something negative on this gun. I can't believe it went through testing and people just signed off saying, yeah, that magazine button is awesome. It's not awesome. It sucks. It's ambidextrous. So that's good for lefties already set up as is a slide release right here. Just like that Kimber R7 Mako. So dual controls there. Enough said on that. Uh, the, the trigger is fantastic, dudes. Really fantastic. Love it. On this, did I measure the trigger? Mm, I don't think I did. And do I have my, I do. I'm gonna do it on camera here and we'll see what we can pull on my Lyman trigger scale. I really like the trigger on this. I think it's better than a Glock trigger out of the box. Seven, six on that pull. That's slick. Seven, three. Uh, it feels like it's lighter, to be honest. The, the Delta M trigger, it feels fantastic in shooting it. Let's check reset. Really quick reset, positive, clean break. Uh, I love the trigger on this. I wouldn't do anything to the trigger. Yeah, it's pulling just over seven pounds, but it seems like it's like five-ish to me. I love the trigger. Uh, faceted trigger too, so there's no obnoxious angles to burrow into your finger. By the way, I think this is uh, ferritic nitrocarburized, i.e. tenifer on the slide. My favorite slide treatment ever. Love Tenifer. And of course I have this one in FDE. I think it also comes in smoke gray, a fantastic color. And then of course, all purpose black for your Delta M Gen 2. That's features as I see it. Oh yeah, you get two magazines. You get a 15 rounder, this one, and a 17 rounder with an extended base plate. That's the one that has been in it. Great magazines, by the way. Orange followers, pretty standard now. Awesome mags, I love the mags. How did it shoot? Uh, like I let out with, the gun shot fabulously. Awesome. No jams awesome. whatsoever, even with steel love, case, love, aluminum love. case ammo, whatever I threw in it, it just chewed right through it. Chewed right through it. Uh, very accurate too. Look at the accuracy on this gun, dude. And remember, with two mags at Gunnies, uh, you know, it's a flashpoint in time, but $445, dudes. Look at that. Look at that. Seven yards standing. Yep. 
Oh my gosh, look at that group, dude. Look at that group. Nice. Uh, this group, I gave a squiggly mark, so that's not that amazing. But this is this is three rounds. One hole, three rounds with a Delta M. Squiggly mark. Good. 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 Oh my gosh, that's a great, great group right there. Five shots with a Delta M right here. And then I had a down arrow on the magazine release. Uh, and I wrote a very good gun, just like the CZ P10C. Hmm, that's going to be a competitive option, I think. Uh, the sights were good. I said very accurate. And here I said trigger was stiff at the end. I forgot that. I actually thought I loved the trigger. Uh, competitive offerings. Where'd it go? Well, I mentioned it already. First up, the Glock 19. Always in fashion. Always in fashion, the Glock 19. A fabulous gun. I don't see why you would not want to buy a Glock even today. Uh, albeit, uh, the competition is fierce. Very, very fierce. Uh, but I still love Glocks. Don't think otherwise. Yeah, they kind of let out the project, right? The Glock 19 and the 17. I love those guns. I don't know where my P10C went, but I'll show you some inset footage on the P10C. That is one of my favorite Glock 19 competitors, the CZ P10C. Highly, highly recommended. Uh, which would I buy between these two? Uh, I would say P10C, hands down. Hands down, it doesn't have the, the magazine release button issue on it. Initially, they had a problem with it, but all the subsequent generations fixed it. It's just as accurate, just as reliable, great ergonomics. The P10C is just a fantastic gun. I can't say enough good about it. I think it's a very viable competitor against any pistol in this segment whatsoever, including the 19. Here comes a CZ P10F. I do have that one in person, a cast member. Another great gun. And it has a couple quirks, like it doesn't have the stippling up here, but this gun also is just fabulous. If you watch some of my Wolverine running gun videos, so we ran the P10F very hard in that series. Operation Valkyrie also. Uh, this has a steel magazine release button. Notice how it sticks up. So CZ knows how to do it. There you go. The same on the P10C. It's the same button. And then compare it to this one. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It, and there's no shelves around it to get in the way. So if I index on this button with my joint, I know I hit it. Yeah. Oh, check this out. This is kind of cool, too. The Der the Erex Delta takes P10F Max. They will stick out, but you'll have this, what, 18 rounder? Yeah, 19 rounder. So if you have a CZ P10F, you have magazines for this gun already. That is very excellent. Excellent. Would I buy an Airx Delta M? Uh, absolutely, I would. I would. And I, you know, give me an optics ready one or this one. Uh, I still love it despite its quirks. Uh, 
mainly just one quirk, and it's this, the magazine release. I discussed that. I think I could dremel that away and it would be fixed because the magazine button itself is chamfered pretty well. Uh, accurate, reliable, fun to shoot. I didn't talk about this. Uh, low muzzle flip. It sits very low in hand, has a low bore axis. Quick follow-up shots, really pleasant to shoot. Same takedown as a Glock. Has the same takedown tabs. Yeah, it's recommended. Recommended. I wonder if this will fit in this CZP-10F sheath. Hmm. Does. Pretty much fits in that sheath. This is a Concealment Express. Bought off Amazon, I believe. And the Airx Delta M Gen 2 is fitting in there pretty good. Decent retra uh, retention, too. Not like perfect, but it has something. Review is complete, and I'm so happy to give this company some good press. Uh, yeah, it's an independent review. Some of their stuff uh, is good. I'm not saying the Rex Zero is a bad pistol at all. It's a really good pistol. I was just taking a task some gun tubers who were proclaiming it as the newest and greatest pistol. No, it was like 1970s technology rehashed. That's what it was. Yeah. Where did I get this patch? It's like from Tropic Thunder. Uh, I don't know. Robert Downey Jr. and Jr. and Blackface. I don't know. And I don't know if I've ever watched that movie all the way through, but I really like that patch. It's hilarious. If it offends you, I don't care. Here comes a Invicta Grand Diver review. Check out my watch reviews. This is a fantastic watch. NH35 automatic movement for very inexpensive for what you're getting. Really cool colorations. And then we have the awesome North American Arms 22 Magnum Pug. Go watch my review posted years ago. This is still one of my top recommended ultra hideout pistols, the Pug. Nothing fancy.